Some neighbors in Dilworth are worried about tall buildings that could come too close to their homes. And they say that is because Charlotte's largest employer, Atrium, wants to expand there. Government reporter Joe Bruno is live for us in Dilworth tonight. Joe, the neighbors told you they're upset because they think they're also being kept out of the loop on this one. Yeah, Erica, Dilworth could look a lot different in a couple of years. Uh, we're standing in a neighborhood that could be impacted. To give you an idea, over my shoulder here, this is Atrium. And then these are all the homes that could be impacted, some of them surrounded by large buildings. Charlotte's largest employer wants to grow. Plans filed with the city would allow Atrium to build a hotel, apartments, a medical school, and office buildings on 71 acres that partly include a residential area. That residential area is where Mark Allen has lived since 1993. This is a quiet, dead-end street that suddenly is going to have trucks running back and forth all day. The proposed Atrium plans come at a time when Dilworth could be changing. Records show the Starbucks on East Boulevard was just purchased by a medical office developer out of Winston-Salem seen a lot of changes. Allen says many of the homes on his street have already been purchased by Atrium with students or staff living in them. The biggest problem right now for Dilworth neighbors is they say they don't know a whole lot about the future. One of the issues is is that we really don't know what all the changes that are being proposed are. They're rezoning 70 acres. That's what and Ellen Citarella with the Dilworth Community Development Association hopes to find out in the coming weeks. We were very disappointed in the lack of specificity in it. Right now, all she has is an unofficial rendering a neighbor made that could show the proposed changes. We would like for this to remain a residential street. We would like for Garden Terrace to remain residential as well. And we would like for the, the expansion that Atrium is about to do to occur in the 70 acres that are currently on their campus. It should be noted right now it's just so early in the process. A public hearing date has not been set yet, and a vote wouldn't take place until at least a month after that. Scott. All right, Joe, thank you. Tonight, police are